What's up, you guys? This is K Swan with Road Rash Off Road. And if you love Jeep DIY mods and off roading, then you came to the right channel. That's what we do here. I am so excited about this episode today. We're going to be reviewing and installing one of the most sought after products for Jeeps the Falcon Nexus 2.2 steering stabilizer by TerraFlex. So, if you guys are ready, we're going to install this on my 2015 JKU. Let's go. <laughs> Are you running the Falcon Nexus 2.2 steering stabilizer on your rig? If so, leave a comment down below. If you're running something different, a different steering stabilizer that you really like, leave that in the comment below too. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your Jeep crew. So just a little background, when I bought this, the previous owner had installed a one inch leveling kit by Skyjacker. It included the Skyjacker steering stabilizer as well. It drove flawlessly, never had an issue with it. Now during COVID, some friends of mine came over with a case of beer and we installed a three and a half inch suspension lift on the Jeep. Now immediately after that, we started to see the infamous death wobble that everybody talks about. Now, side note, a steering stabilizer does not cure death wobble. This is not a cure for death wobble. This is a band-aid. You need to address what is causing the death wobble first and foremost. With that said, we tackled the track bar. We installed an adjustable track bar. We immediately upgraded the drag link to a Yeti and then upgraded the ball joints to the TerraFlex HD ball joints. Death wobble was cured. Done. Dunzo. No more death wobble. However, now that I've been driving it for a little bit, I realize there's a lot of what I consider feedback in the wheel. A lot of sensitivity. Every bump, every rock is felt in the steering wheel. And I think that the original death wobble that I had had damaged the Skyjacker steering stabilizer that I had. So, when I talked to my buddies over at JK Land here in Georgia, they suggested that I upgrade the steering stabilizer just to cure some of that feedback from the road. The Falcon Nexus 2.2 steering stabilizer is one of the most sought after steering stabilizers on the market right now. It's been back ordered for two months. Now the Falcon Nexus 2.2 steering stabilizer is considered to be one of the, the best steering stabilizers on the market. And at $350, it's also considered to be one of the most expensive. So, is it worth it? And what makes it so expensive? We're gonna take a look at that and review this today. Now, right off the bat, inside the package, you'll have a little thank you card from Falcon, some Falcon stickers, and then a Nexus EF stabilizer installation guide. Now, one of the things about Falcon and TerraFlex is, one, they're made in the USA the quality, the build, the care, and the warranty that you have on each product is unmatched. Two, the Falcon Nexus 2.2 specifically is one of the only fast adjustable steering stabilizers on the market, giving you three different options, firm, medium, and soft. Soft being for more extreme off-roading and rock crawling, medium being for your everyday driving around town, and then firm for your long drives on the highway speeds. I'm really excited. Let's get this thing installed. So installation on this is super simple and should only take you about 45 minutes in your garage with just a couple of simple tools. However, first we want to start by centering up our front wheels as best as you can. Now we want to take our steering stabilizer, want to center the body between the two ends here. This is gonna be estimated at about four and an eight. So here we're gonna remove our tie rod clamp with a five millimeter and just set this aside. So underneath the Jeep, we got a little bit of work to do to remove this old steering stabilizer. And we gotta start with the 18 millimeter and we're gonna pull this off the main axle. Then we're gonna remove the back side of the steering stabilizer from the tie rod. Pull it off. Out 
Out with the old, in with the new. Well, that took a little persuasion to get this nut off of this. So we're gonna roll this thing down. We're gonna take our two wrenches here, stick them on here, and we're gonna pry this thing apart. Now we were able to pull the clamp off. We're gonna to have to remove the screws here and this bracket. This is where the new Falcon bolt will come out right there. So once you've pulled out the screw that holds on the old steering stabilizer, make sure you hold on to the wing nut that came on this because you're gonna use this for the new Falcon. So you're gonna pull this out and then you're gonna take the Falcon and you're gonna feed it through just like that. Put the wing nut on the other side. We're gonna to torque this down to 220 foot pounds. I'm gonna grab my steering stabilizer and I'm just going to double check that it is centered about four and an eight. I'm gonna set this just on top of the tie rod. So once we have the Falcon steering stabilizer resting on the tie rod, and installed on here. We're gonna tighten this down to 90 foot pounds onto the axle. Now we're gonna add our tie rod clamp. Use our five millimeter. And we are gonna tighten the steering stabilizer onto the tie rod. And there you have it. The Falcon Nexus 2.2 installed on the Jeep JK. What's really cool about the Falcon Nexus is they've relocated it to above the tie rod. They've tucked this really nice up into the top of the Jeep so that we don't hit it whenever we're going over obstacles. So the last thing we wanna do here is get in the Jeep and turn our wheels all the way left and then all the way right so that we can look and make sure that we are not hitting either side of the steering stabilizer on the ends. <laughs> And that's it. We're gonna give it a test drive. We're gonna test out some of those settings, soft, medium, and firm, see which one we like the best. And then we're gonna take it to our friends over at JK Land this week, and we're gonna get an alignment done on it. Not because the stabilizer needs it, but because the Jeep just needs it. So that's it for tonight. I'm on my way out to JK land. I've been driving on the steering stabilizer for about four days and I'm not gonna quite give you my review yet. But as soon as we finish the JK land, I'm gonna come back and do a full review. You guys are gonna be shocked what we have to say. Here at JK Land in Georgia, they're gonna do an alignment and mount one of my spare tires. I don't trust anybody else in this area to work on my Jeep except for these guys. Literally, I pass by probably six Jeep places before I get here. It takes me about an hour to drive out here, but I make the drive just because I trust JK Land with the work that they do on my rig. I'm gonna take you around and show you some of the really cool stuff that they've got going on. You guys might recognize this. This is the infamous SRT Hellcat Gladiator conversion. This thing is an absolute beast. Now while JK Land is the number one Jeep places for customizing and Hemi swaps and things like that, they do excellent, excellent work with regards to everyday regular maintenance like alignments, like standard lift kits. And when you guys go to Jeep Beach, make sure you check this thing out. This is one of the most amazing sound system installs I have ever seen on a Jeep. You've got to check this rig out at Jeep Beach.
I love coming to the store. It's kind of a good love and hate kind of thing. I love coming here to visit my friends, but I hate leaving because I always end up leaving with some of this stuff. You guys, we just finished the alignment on the Jeep, and I want to say a big thank you to Steve and the family over at JK Land. You guys have really dialed in the suspension on my Jeep, almost back to factory, even running 35s. Now let's talk about the Falcon Nexus 2.2 steering stabilizer I just installed on the rig. I knew that it was gonna do some big changes in the steering of the Jeep, but I had no idea it was gonna be this drastic. I really noticed the changes on two occasions. One, you're driving down the road over 50 and you see a bump, a pebble, a stick in the road. You JK owners, you know what I'm talking about. You white knuckle it and you hold on because you have no idea what this rig is gonna do once you hit that pebble. Now with the new Falcon, you just cruise on over it and you don't even feel a thing. It is amazing. Two, you're riding down the highway, highway speeds, 85, 90 miles an hour, and you start hitting that wind tunnel. Again, white knuckle on the steering wheel because all of a sudden your Jeep is moving left and right. Since I've installed the new Falcon steering stabilizer, I hit those wind tunnels and it's no more white knuckling. I'm set back and I'm cruising. I just ride it on out. If you're looking for a new steering stabilizer, I would highly recommend Falcon. Fantastic product, great warranty. They back their product. And if you can find the 2.2 adjustable, I would highly recommend going with the adjustable steering stabilizer from Falcon. Like, subscribe, and share this video with your Jeep family. And follow us on Instagram. Peace.